Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and this is the Edit by DH. Welcome to another video. Today is all about Westman Atelier, full face of Westman Atelier. And I am so excited to use her new product called the Illuminator. But, you know, I thought it would be a bit of a, a short video and a bit naff to just show you the Illuminator. So I wanted to show you a couple of other complexion products that in fact is pretty much all the complexion products and color products so yeah i hope you really enjoy this video i have got a full face of westman atelier on right now i am loving life i feel super fresh face like i've just been to you know go for a run been to the spa had a facial that's how i feel and that's how i feel i look but it's all Westman Atelier and all thanks to her products. So if you're interested in finding out how I achieve this look, please continue to watch the video. Okay, so let's start with some makeup. My face absolutely needs it. I have just finished my skincare routine using some fantastic products from a Korean skincare brand called Harwazu, hence why my skin is glowy AF. So if you haven't seen it already, please do go check it out. I will link it down below. Even though my face is very glowy, I wanted to review the new Westman Atelier Liquid Super Loaded Illuminator, very long name. And it comes in this packaging in three different shades. So it has a shade called Peur de Peche, Peur de Rose, and Peur de Soleil. And I got the Peur de Rose, or Rosé, I don't know how you say it. And it is £53 for 30 mils. I will be sure to link it. I got my products from Cult Beauty, but I'll be sure to link it down below. So even though the packaging looks really small, it's 30 mil. Now, don't be deceived and think that this is a stingy portion because most foundations on the market are about 30 mil. The difference is they normally put it in bigger packaging, bigger jars, so it, it gives the illusion of more product when there isn't. So actually, this is perfect for traveling. It's very lightweight. It's just very minimal, very compact. So I love the packaging. I think it's still very, very chic. And if you're interested, it comes in a box that looks like this so it's literally again a very compact box none of this like extra faff and like i hate that it's just annoying and unnecessary and wasteful so i love the packaging from westman atelier it's described as a pearlescent radiance meets skin brightening ingredients consider the liquid sheer loaded your fast track to a luminous complexion Powered by a concentrated blend of vitamin C, antioxidants, and a nourishing blend of skin enhancing oils, create a prismatic glow that draws your inner radiance out from within. Feeling adventurous, wear your way either on its own, underneath foundation, or on the high points of your cheeks for a lasting, better than skin finish. So really you can use it multiple ways. You can wear it on its own. So if you want your skin to just be super glowy, you can wear it under your foundation or in targeted areas like as a highlighter. One thing it hasn't said is to mix it with your foundation. That's another option if you want to. You could, if you had something that's a bit more on the matter or drier side, I'm sure you can absolutely mix this with your foundation. So that's another way you can use it. Obviously it did say that it has oils in there. So if you're not, somebody that likes a glowy look, if you're not somebody that likes to look like a cherubim, like you've been lit from within, this is not for you. If you're someone who doesn't like oils or perhaps your skin is a bit more sensitive to oils and reactive, then this is not for you. However, I'm sure the majority of you are here because this has caught your eye in some way or another like it did with me. So I, I don't know how I should use it. Like I have used it as a highlighter and it's beautiful as a highlighter. So this is the rose. Now, I don't normally use it under my foundation because I just don't. But today I want to be a little bit more different and I'm going to go in with a little bit underneath my foundation just to show you what it's like on its own first. So bear in mind, it is the Peau de Rose shade. And I deliberately got this one because my skin is a bit more on the pinkier side. And if you watch my colour consultation video, link down below, you will know that I was told I was a cooler toned. So these sort of like cool pinks kind of suit me. 
anyway so i am using the tom ford number two brush i don't know if it's still in stock if it is i'll link it down below and i'm just going to put the highlighter places where i normally would want my face to be more glowy so can you really see the difference by me using this Ill illuminator yes my face is shiny anyway but i feel like it has added like an extra glow and in fact i might put some under my eyes because I like a little bit of brightness under my eyes I mean who doesn't I want to be seen from Mars today so let's just slap it on I mean you can see how glowy and illuminating that is now I'm going to go in with the Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops again 30 ml it's in exactly the same size and shape packaging as the illuminator um, so this is like a tinted moisturizer and this one has got more shades at least on the cop beauty website i think it has like 20 shades on there and it's 62 pounds now i know that's more expensive than many foundations on the market for half the price however i just think that it's about what suits you what your preference is and for me this is worth the investments and I'm generally more of somebody who likes a sheerer, lighter, natural finish than heavy, matte, etc. Full coverage, not my vibe at all. So it's also about your preference. Description wise, it says uh, Westman Atelier's next gen skin tint is brimming with hydrating skin care and a natural hue to transform your complexion from dull to fresh faced in just a few drops. Designed to work with your skin, this complexion boosting tint not only glides over your skin and blends with ease, but infuses your visage, your face, with serum strength actives to improve texture, firmness and radiance, transforming from a lightweight oil to a cushiony serum as it glides over your skin. Each drop of this radiance booster soothes and revitalizes a dull complexion thanks to a trio of tsubaki oil, ginseng extract and pomegranate extract. Non-commodogenic, effortlessly chic and available in 20 skin loving shades, these are sure to become a part of your daily ritual. I forgot to say earlier, you're supposed to shake both of these, which I did off camera, but just shake them before you use them. And then it just says to dispense the drops onto fingertips and blend into the skin in an upward motion, as you would a moisturiser or serum. So I do tend to use my fingers for it, but I will do both. I will use my fingers and I'll use a brush. Just applying. And then where I get texture, I just sort of tend to dab. Now I have been using this for a while. And honestly, I love it. It is so beautiful, so natural. And can you just see how just using two drops, even using my fingers, it's given me more of an even skin tone. My forehead is always a bit more tan. So I just love how natural it looks and how it just glides on. So what I normally tend to do is after I apply the first layer, I look more up close at my skin because from a distance like this, it can look flawless, but I am obsessed with skin. So I like it to look like flawless, even up close, which is very, very, very natural. Now, normally this is enough for me if I'm just doing a daytime look, etc. But I want to try with a brush. So I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used just a second ago for the illuminator. Just going to squeeze a bit more of the product onto my skin and by the way i am using atelier one shade atelier one so i'm just going to go into areas where i know i need a bit more coverage with the brush but it's never going to be a full coverage foundation because it's just not but at most you can add a little bit more coverage by just applying a bit more in certain areas where you feel you need the coverage. Obviously you can use the foundation stick because they do have a foundation stick. Being completely honest, I did use it in the, in the past, um, but I did get rid of it because for me, I just felt like it didn't sit that well and I wasn't loving it. I felt like it did create texture and I feel like that would be best for 
sort of like oily combination skin types rather than um, dry skin types like I have. So I feel like if you are a dry skin beauty like myself, this is the better product for you. And then if you're oily combination, very oily, whatever, definitely use the foundation stick. I think I'm just going to go in with a little bit more coverage with a different concealer. It's a Dior concealer. I will link everything down below, including the mirror. I'm just going to apply a little bit more concealer under my eyes because this West Menatilia is very, very light, which is why I love it. But it's not great if you want to cover dark circles. And right now I feel a little bit like Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. So my skin is looking super juicy and I think you guys will agree it's looking particularly juicy where I applied the illuminator earlier. We shall continue, we shall continue to keep an eye on it and then we'll see the end results right at the end. Now I'm going to go in with the West Manitilio Face Trace Contour Stick. This comes in three shades, at least again on the Cop Beauty website and it comes in a colour called Biscuit, Ganache and Truffle so they're like sweets biscuit chocolatey names and it is 44 pounds for six grams of product so it comes in this twist up situation i have been using it for a while so mine's not the cleanest guys and generally i do prefer and lean towards powder contours but if i were to go with a creamy contour which i sometimes do especially in the summer when i'm more like creams on my face rather than powders i do really like the westman atelier one so i have the color biscuit which is this one i shall swatch it on my hand for you it's a great cool color but it's not so cool that you can't use it as a bronzer if that makes sense so it's described as designed to enhance rather than create the creamy face trace con contour stick boosts a myriad of celebrity fans from the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow to Jennifer Aniston and Cameron Diaz. To be honest, that's not a selling point to me. I'm just like, whatever. Anyway, thanks to its universally flattering taupe undertone that's perfect for sculpting. Buildable, allowing for a subtle or dramatic sculpt to suit your mood, the soft, velvety formula won't interfere with the rest of your makeup, so you can blend and boost as you please, supercharged with antioxidant rich organic jojoba oil, skin is toned, restored and protected against environmental aggressors, while china clay absorbs excess oil without dulling your complexion. Raspberry derived berry flux, Vita, deeply moisturizes and biomimicry technology, essentially an anti-pollution shield locks in said moisture, further protecting against impurities, all resulting in a hardworking, youth boosting, flattering slick of color that looks like your skin, but better. So for this, I am going to go in with a, the Patrick Tar contour brush, and I just will put some product on the brush directly. It's kind of like sculpted anyway, the brush. So it's kind of easy for contouring. Again, I love this brush. And I just like to sort of dab it on at first rather than like brushing it on, if you know what I mean. And then I gently just brush out the edges. So I just almost like to dab here where the cheekbone is and then blend out the edges so that it looks a bit more natural. I do the same on the other side. So again, pat, pat, pat. Then I sort of take it up and then blend out the edges. And if you've got product left on your brush, I just like to take it into the hairline and around like further up my face because imagine like if you tan and then like as you're applying it, like you can build up absolutely. I feel like contour is my absolute best friend. By the way, it might not look like it, but I am doing really gentle sweeps so that it doesn't disrupt the foundation or base. And then I just like to apply under my chin as always. And the reason why I love using these face products is because I feel like complexion products like foundations and tinted moisturizers, they give your face like more evenness. So it's not like flawed. You know what I mean? You don't get patches, your skin's not like, you know, naturally your skin has like redness, areas where it's not one color, but I feel like foundation and complexion tints like take away things that we're 
perhaps a bit conscious of it evens out our skin and makes it look a little bit more even and flawless then you bring the contour in and it gives your face a bit more definition starts to bring more 3d-ness back into your face where it's previously flat because of the complexion and then the blush then brings life and color back into your face so that is exactly what i'm going to show you next which is this one so this is called the baby cheeks blush stick and it's available in six shades it is 44 pounds for six grams of product and i got the shade petal so it is described as in true westman atelier fashion the baby cheeks blush stick lends gorgeously creamy juicy color for lips lids and cheeks in one easy to use on the go friendly stick ideal for busy guys and gals who need a succinct hard working edit of fuss free multitaskers in their makeup bag so i already know this is going to appeal to so many people in terms of the description boasting a buttery texture that effortlessly melts into skin for a natural healthy flush this blush gifts a skin loving soothing swipe of color with a triple blend of light i can never say this word ayurvedic oils that gently nourishes while working to balance moisture levels vitus vita grape extract detoxifies stimulating the complexions natural supply of collagen and hyaluronic acid for a plump supple age defying results available in six lustrous shades petal which is this one is described as a dusty nude rose shusha i think a nude peach dudu a warm rose popet a poppy pink minette or minet a luminous peach and bichette or bichet a brick red pick a mix to match your mood and outfit love that so as it said it is a multi-purpose product you can use it on the eyes cheeks and lips personally i prefer with multi-purpose products just to use it on the lips and cheeks rather than on the eyes i like to use eye products on the eyes because i feel like whatever's designed for the cheeks and lips doesn't necessarily last on the eyes i feel like it's great to apply it if you're like just in a rush but generally in terms of longevity it doesn't tend to last so i'm gonna go in with this bobby brown brush again i'm just gonna go straight onto the brush like this and then sometimes i just remove a bit on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to do the smile. What I feel is like, I feel like these products do layer really well on top of each other. And I wonder if it's because it's from the same family brand. If you want to tone it down, by the way, just use your foundation brush. No extra product needed, just blur out the edges. So it just beautifully just like layers on top of one another. It just gives us healthy flush you see what i mean it just adds the color perfectly i'm also going to use it on my lips but instead i'll go in with my finger oh by the way i didn't swatch it for you so that's petal but see it looks different from my hand and on my face right because i just use a little bit so i'm going to use it on my lips sorry about the sun it just this weather just can't make up what it wants to do the weather in july for the uk is just awful So it just gives a bit of color to the lips right now the sun is very bright so you will see when the sun like goes in a bit you will see the color a bit more so that is the blush which you can use as a multi-purpose product so already i'm feeling so much more human guys and as you can see my face is still looking super glowy especially because i'm using layer upon layer of products that are creamy and just really emphasize skin that looks like skin and that's one of the beauties of this westman atelier collection and brand i do have another product which i'll be using called highlight lit up stick however i want to first powder my face now you might be like are you crazy you want to powder your face after doing all of that but as you can see i didn't put highlighter here and it is very, very, very glowy. And even though I know I use the same brush, I, because of my skincare that I use, it, and to, particularly today, because I use a very hydrating one, it tends to just, my face tends to get shiny. The usual areas are like the T-zone, around the nose, on the chin. Um, now the sun's down a bit, you can see the lip. I want to add a powder before I add the highlighter. 
So actually, I do have a powder from Westman Atelier, which I will use for the purpose of this video. So this is the Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. It is £69 for five grams of product. It's in this beautiful gold compact. It is so weighty. So unlike her other products, they're very light. These are all very light. This is extremely, extremely heavy. Like if you were to throw it at a duck, it would drown the duck. And by the way, before anybody gets upset, I'm not encouraging anyone to throw anything at ducks, but I'm just saying it's that heavy. Like you could literally drown a duck heavy. And it comes in four shades. And I want I say shades, but really it's tones, I guess. And I got the tone creme, which felt like it was right for my skin tone. There you go. And it has a mirror on it. So it comes in the color or shade or tone creme, Cafe, Dune, Pink Bubble and Translucent. So I got this one because it seemed like it was the most suitable for my skin tone. Okay, so description wise, it's an ultra sheer and finely milled. The setting powder feels like supremely soft on skin and sets makeup with a silky smooth finish that is never cakey. What's more, it even packs in skincare actives to control sebum over time and lend a brightening effect via vitamin C. The Vital Press skincare powder employs Westman Atelier's Skin Defense Shield Complex, made up of vitamin C and probiotics to protect skin from free radicals, which can speed up aging and blue light. Not to mention the antioxidant-rich vitamin C is almost unparalleled when it comes to giving your skin that lift within glow. Actives are pressed into the powder so that over time, your skin can enjoy sebum control and quinoa seed extract, refines skin, and reduces the appearance of pores. All of that, and we haven't even gotten to the makeup part yet. This feathery light powder sets makeup with ease, controls shine, and thanks to its talc-free formula, you don't have to worry about a ashy finish. I mean, in that description, it just sounds like it would change your life. Pay your mortgage, do your ironing, everything. So it's amazing. I'm going in with a Beauty Pie brush is the pro angled concealer brush but i love using it for powder and it's great for like spot concealing so i shall just pat it on where i tend to get a bit like Mah. so let me do one side first so you can compare now when i use a brush and powder what happens is your brush can get wet so to speak from the makeup that you've just applied so a great trick that I like to use, which isn't that miraculous, but it's a good tip, is I like to use a kitchen towel, not a tissue, because the tissue is a lot more softer and it's easier to break up. Kitchen towel, because it's a bit textured and it absorbs um, like liquid a bit more. So I just rub off the excess wetness, if that makes sense. Because what happens is if you tend to use like a lot of wet and oily products and you dip it back into your powder you'll find that over time it creates like a film on top of your powder and it's hard for you to break through that and then use your powder and it almost make, renders your powder useless i don't know if anybody has any other tips and i would love to hear because you know i'm always about learning as well and hearing your feedback so if there's any other tips that you guys have for that and to prevent that film from occurring please let me know down below, but this is my tip. So then I'm kind of going back in with almost like a dry brush, if that makes sense. And then you're protecting the powder. Hopefully you can see the difference. I've just done this side. So that's the side that I've just powdered versus that side, which is still very oily. Now it's not to say that the glow has completely gone. You can still see a glow but it's a little bit more controlled in the areas that I want to glow. That's why I'm a fan of spot powdering rather than getting a mahoosive brush and powdering all my face, which I don't like. By the way, I do like to have a luminous under eye, but the only reason I sometimes powder under my eyes, especially is if I wear like eye makeup underneath and then it kind of smudges, if you know what I mean, if I've got too many creamy products underneath my eye. That's the only reason I powder under my eye. As you guys know, I'm normally a Charlotte Tilbury fan for my setting powder, but I'm really curious about this, especially like the sebum control thing over time. Like that's great. I do have pores around my T-zone, 
Um, so min any minimising of them is fantastic. I love the fan fact that it's got skincare ingredients in the powder, including vitamin C. So I am intrigued. So you can see it's not too mattified, right? You still have the glow. But in case this is not enough for you in terms of glow, as promised, I have the highlighter stick. So this has got a gold lid on it. So even these sticks, they're all in the same size, but they're slightly different. So it gives you a point of differentiation. Then you're like, from the packaging alone, you're like, oh, this is a contour stick. Oh, this is a blush. Oh, this is a highlight, you know? So it's easy. I like that. So this is called the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick. It is £44 for five grams of product. And if you guys haven't noticed already, it's not cheap. I am fully aware of that. But wait till the end of this video to make up your mind as to whether it is worth it or not. So the description says, available in three flattering shades, the Lit Up Highlight Stick is a new generation highlighter that looks just like skin, but with an unbeatably healthy glow. Think revitalized, post-facial radiance, all imparted by one easy to use, quick to apply stick. The literal embodiment of the glass skin trend, this highlighter uses multi-dimensional undertones to complement all skin tones. The secret to overhauling dull complexions, the formula encourages collagen and hyaluronic acid production with de detoxifying Vitis Vita grape extract in a refreshing jelly-like texture. This multitasking highlighter can be used whenever skin feels dull and thirsty with Gucci Westman herself always keeping one on hand to rejuvenate her skin throughout the day. The only hard part is choosing between Lit, which is a glassy iridescent tone, Brales, a bronze gold, and Nectar, a golden peach. So that's what I got. Now you can use it in however you like, to be honest, but I like to use it on the high points of my face. And again, this is a product I have used before and it's probably one of one of my favourite creamy highlighters. I have a few that I really like, but it's one of my favourite. And you know, in the same way where I said I prefer powder contours generally than creamy, but this is my favourite creamy, I tend to prefer creamy highlighters than powdery highlighters for obvious reasons. I just feel like it looks more natural. And this is like what right up there in terms of one of my favourite. So I'm going to use again the same complexion brush and again just pop it onto my brush and I like to just sort of like gently go over my high points. So wow, can you see? It's just so, so stunning to add even more glow to my face. Like so, you can do it on the tip of your nose, centre of your nose if you want to do that. And again, use your finger to do the cupid's bow. It's like to pat it on. Can you see how it just sort of lifts it a bit and emphasizes the top of your lip? And then inner corner cannot be forgotten. And I love this as an inner eye corner shade because you know, sometimes when you put on like a pearlescent eyeshadow that's powdery, it looks very obvious. Whereas this just sort of like can you can you see it's just more natural so now at this point where the sun's thankfully shining perfect timing you can just see how natural the skin looks looks like skin right and i just love 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 the final look and i use these products daily i use these products weekly i use these products frequently is my point i would highly recommend these products Obviously, the only new products that I tried today were the illuminator and the powder. But everything else, like the complexion drops, the contour stick, the blush and the highlighter, I use regularly. And honestly, it's taken me a while to get into Westman Atelier. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of her foundation stick. I really wasn't. I found it quite drying for my skin. But everything else, I love, love, love. I haven't tried her eyeshadows yet and I've heard some great things about them. I would love to know your thoughts down below if you use them. And I know she does this like powdery lip thing, but I'm not keen on powdery lip things. I just find them messy. I find find them faffy. But again, if you think otherwise and you love them, let me know down below. I would love to see like a proper concealer from Westman Atelier. I would love to see like a gorgeous 
luxurious velvety matte lipstick from Westman Atelier I think she would do a fantastic one and as long as the shades are great I think they will be winners let me know down below what your thoughts are not only on this collection on the illuminator and just your thoughts on Westman Atelier brand in general but I hope you liked this thank you so much for watching as always and hope to catch you on the next one take care